Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to lock apps on Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 Plus and S10 Ultra. In order to do so, we will need to open settings. And then in the settings, we want to go to security and privacy. Over here, we need to scroll down to find more security settings and then go there. And we need to set up the secure folder. This app is used in order to lock apps behind a code. So let's press continue. Uh, we will need to use the Samsung account, unfortunately, for this one. So uh, sign in to your Samsung account if you didn't do that yet. You will also need to grant permissions to certain things like the calendar contacts and so on and so forth. So press continue. And now we need to wait a little bit until the secure folder is actually created. This may take like even a minute before it is done. Then we need to choose the secure folder lock type so we can use a separate code uh, that will be used in order to unlock the secure folder. It doesn't have to be the same as for the whole tablet. So in my case, I'm gonna use a pin code. And over here, I need to use at least six digits. So I'm gonna use a simple one, one, two, three, four, five, six. And there we go. We can press continue. Of course, this one is easy. So if your pin code is actually easy, then you will be uh, recommended to change it. I'm gonna use it anyway, I don't really mind. And then enter the same pin code once again. And there we go. Now we have the, um, we are asked to allow lock reset with Samsung account. So this is used when you forget the lock type. So in order to recover the access, you will uh, use the Samsung account to get it, to get the access back. I'm not going to allow in this case, I don't really need, and this is a simple pin code, so I don't need to uh, worry about this. So once we set up the lock type, we can press next. And there we go, we have our secure folder. Over here we can press this plus button in order to add other apps um, to the list of locked uh, apps, pretty much. So yeah, this is how we can lock apps now. So let's say I'm gonna choose Google Drive in addition to that. And once you select all your apps, then you can press add over here in the top right corner. And there we go, here we have the list of all apps. You can also press these three dots over here on the right side as well in order to uh, find additional options, including settings. And now over here, you can change the lock type. You can also add the auto lock secure folder. So um, you can choose what should happen or when should the secure folder be locked again. So it can be set to each time when I leave app, for instance. I think this is the best way to uh, be secured in this case. And of course, some additional options over here that you can go through, which I'm, I'm not gonna mention right now. Also, if you go over here at the bottom, uh, we will find also apps hidden in secure folders. So over here, you can find them as well. We can also download more apps immediately over here on the left uh, side. And in order to remove the folder from the secure folder, you can press and hold your finger on it in order to do that. So the way it works, I mean, removing the app from the secure folder is by, like I said, pressing and holding your finger, finger sorry, and you need to uninstall it because pretty much the apps that are in the secure folder are like um, instances, uh, separate instances. This is what I meant to say. So uh, if you remove, if you uninstall the app over here, then it doesn't mean that it will be uninstalled completely from your tablet. You can still find it on your tablet anyway. It just means that it is being uninstalled from the secure folder. So. Um, it's like installing separate apps, like uh, having a separate library of apps in the secure folder. So essentially what you can do is add apps that you want to lock over here. And then you can, for instance, leave these apps over here like untouched so that they don't have any data that you can uh, store after some time. You can just not use them at all. Or not really that you cannot. It just means uh, what I mean is you don't really have to use them. In addition to that, if you are actually bothered with the apps that should be also hidden, then in that case, what you can do is hide apps from the home screen. So if you go to the home screen in the settings, then you have the option to hide apps on home and apps screens. And then here you can choose apps that should not be displayed. So let's say I wanted to have my Google Drive hidden and locked. So in that case, in this setting, I want to select drive in order to hide it. So now if I press done, and if I go back to the home screen, if I, for instance, try to find the Google Drive app in the Google folder over here or in the apps library, um, then I will not be able to find it. And if I go to the secure folder, 
then of course I should still be able to add Google Drive over there because the app still exists. I can add it over here. So now this is the technically, well not technically, but practically one instance that exists on my uh, tablet. So now I cannot use it over here. I need to go to the secure folder in order to be able to use it. Or once the app is hidden from the home screen, you can also add the secured one to the home screen in order to have quick access. You can press and hold the finger on the app in order to find add to home button, then you can press add. And if you go back, you should be able to find it over here so that you don't really have to go to the secure folder in order to find the app. You can go over here, enter the password and have access to, to the locked app instead. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye!